Students of Gakawa Secondary School in Laikipi County stand on the edge of a new technological frontier. This school was one of the first beneficiaries of a project which taps an used television spectrum to deliver high-speed internet to remote areas at a low cost. In all of the internet and connectivity that we're giving to people in Laikipia, we're doing this with television white space. This is kind of the way that we, uh, we reuse the, the gaps in between the television channels. So, is it, uh, we're in the process of setting up a database uh, with the Communications Commission of Kenya, which manages the allocation of all of the, the gaps in between. Since the pilot was launched in May this year, students and teachers have seen profound changes in their approach to learning. We have also been able to introduce some students to their packages, their applications. Like MS Word, they are able to use it. Uh, MS Excel, they are able to use it. Uh, MS uh, PowerPoint, and PowerPoint has helped us to cover the syllabus in some subjects, like where instead of now writing the notes on the board, you can write the notes here, then you use that laptop to project the notes to all the computers so that the students can just write and then we discuss. That way we go faster and we have been able to cover the syllabus faster in that way. And then for us teachers we have many records to keep. We have the schemes of work or the topics we have covered and so on. Instead of keeping paperwork, files, we have now been using the computers to keep our records here. If it is the textbooks we issue, all those records we just put them here. So we have uh, really benefited and I hope now we have gone to we have gone very far. The Mawingu project is also providing free internet to Red Cross and County Government offices in Laikipia. Mawingu agencies, similar to cyber cafes, have also been set up so that citizens can access free internet either on their devices or on laptops provided by Microsoft. Weekdays are get at least 20, 15 to 20 minimum number of people every day. But during the week, they have a good number of people due to people who are coming from the job. And these people, they are coming to different, they want to go to different areas in the internet. I have some like farmers who have been here for a long, long time. They don't know nowadays you can farm even through internet and getting a lot of information. So I have a lot of people who are looking for the market of their produce or seeds, certified seed chemicals uh, and they, 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 they save the money instead of going to town, the nearest town here is about 200 shillings and the best town or best to get those things are about 500 shillings so they save a lot. I also have people who are using this chance to work. When they are off their duties they would come here, use the emails and talk to their boss, give orders when they are still at home using this internet. The Mawingu project is under a Microsoft initiative dubbed For Africa. For the multinational, For Africa is part of a larger plan to transform the company's business model. So this is not a philanthropic exercise for us. Um, it is a for-profit exercise. Um, and I, I like you know, the term social enterprise. It's been used a lot lately. I think that that's the closest thing I could you know, kind of relate to and say that that's what we're trying to do here, which is about you know, development-minded economic activity that we're engaging in here. So it's certainly a for-profit exercise.